Hello there and then welcome to a brand new video. This is Hub Beyond Numbers where we learn math the easy way. Now in this lesson we are looking at how to model numbers up to thousands using base 10 blocks or known as the multi-base blocks. So without much ado, let's quickly look into it. Now if you want to model a number using the blocks, there are four of these blocks you need to know which you can see on the screen. So this first one here is what we call a cube, you see. So this is a cube. If I'm to enlarge it, this is how it looks like, you see. It is a cube. And since we are talking of base 10 or multi-block, then specifically we want to limit ourselves to thousands. Then we will represent this one cube as a unit, you see. So represent every cube as a unit. So let me write that down. So I mean, we are going to let what one cube be just one unit. One cube is just one unit. Now, if we have 10 of these cubes, if we have 10 of these cubes, we have what we call a long, you see? So a long is actually made up of what? 10 of the cubes. So if one cube is just one unit, then a long, or also known as a rod, will be 10 units, you see. So let's take note of that as well. So as you can see nicely down here, a rod is equal to 10 units, you see. And we can even confirm that. So if I'm to take this cube over here, and I put it here, you see, it fits perfectly. That is just one of the cubes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9 and 10, you see. So that confirms that a rod or a long is made up of 10 of these what cubes. Then we come to a flat, as you see over here. Okay, so for a flat, then we are actually talking about 10 of the longs. 10 of the longs. So if you are taking note of the pattern over here, then we are saying that one cube will form what? Excuse me, 10 cubes will form just one rod, one rod. And then if we take 10 of the rods, then we are going to get what, how many? One flat. So 10 of the rod will form one flat. Now, if it is forming one flat, then you realize that it simply means we have 10 of the rods in it. Easy. We have 10 of the rods in it. And if I'm to take and then do that comparison, I think you would see that clearly. So let's take this rod here and then bring it here. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So ten of this unit rod or long makes up what? A flat. So that is a flat for you. Then we come to our last block, which is the what this the block over here now the block is actually made up of 10 of the flats 10 of the flats you see so we write that what one block is thousand units remember if one of this if 10 of this is giving us just one of this you see and then 10 of this one which is the rod gives us what? One of the flat, you see? And then 10 of the flat on the other hand will also give us one whole block. You see that? So this is the relationship between these what? Multi-base blocks. So now that we know this, what do we want to use it for? Let's quickly look at what we are going to apply this. Now to apply this knowledge we have now, we want to look at how to model three digit numbers. You see, so for this first question, we have to model the three digit number 348. 300 and what? 48. So if you want to model any number at all, you see, we first of all look at the multi base blocks we have. You see, so over here we have what? A cube. And what are we seeing a cube represent? A cube represents just one unit. 
a rod represents 10 units, a flat is 100 units, and then a block is 1,000 units. So looking at what we have in here, the first thing we do is to do what? So the first thing we are supposed to do is to take our number. That is 348, you see? And we write it in its expanded form, you see? So writing a number in its expanded form for 348 years, it simply means we have what? 300 plus a 40 and then plus 8. You see? So 300 plus what? 40 plus 8. Now, if you are able to write your numbers in expanded form, then you take the numbers one after the other. So for 300, for instance, looking at the unit, the multi-base blocks we have, 300, if you want to use a cube, how many cubes are you going to need? You see, if it is a rod you want to use, how many rods are you going to need to form 300? If it is a flat, you want to use how many flats do you need you see then if it is possible for you to also use a block how many are you going to use now you can use any based on your choice but i always advise that you go to the maximum one you see because if i'm to take a cube then i'll need 300 of them if i'm to take a rod then i'm going to need 30 of them but if it is a flat which deals in hundreds then just three flats will give me 300 you see so i'm going to say three times a hundred will give me 300 you see and then i know that three times a hundred a hundred is what a flat so it means i'm going to get what three of the flats you see so with that we now come to our 40. Then we know 40 means four of what things? That is four times 10. Now we do know that each 10 is what? A long or a rod. So that is four of rods or better still four longs. You see? Then for our 8 over here, that is 8 times 1. And we know that 1 is a cube, you see. So we, we are going to have 8 cubes. So now that you have been able to write all these here in these forms, then it simply means our 348 can then be written as what? 3 flats plus four longs and then plus eight cubes you see hence if we want to represent 348 visually then it's going to be we first of all go for three of the flats so as you can see here i'm aligning three of my flats over here then it goes on to say we need four of the lungs. So I'll come here and then pick my lungs. So if it is drawing, you are drawing, you'd have to what? Represent your lung. So I need four of them. One, two, three, and then four. Easy. Then the last one says we need what? Eight cubes eight cubes so i'll just come in here and then pick what represents my cube and i'll paste eight of them over here so one two three four then we have five a six a seven and then an eight you see so visually this is how we do represent what our numbers using the multi-base blocks now it is as simple as you see let's quickly go over all that we've done and then we see if we can gain better understanding
all we are saying is there are so many numbers right billions of them but then if we want to represent them to see the visuals of these numbers then we need multi-base blocks for this lesson we want to limit ourselves to what thousands you see and to do that we need a cube a rod a flat and then a block now depending on the numbers you want to represent you can have so many you see but for our lesson here we are seeing a cube will just represent one unit you see and then a rod will represent 10 units a flat is going to represent 100 units whilst a block will represent what thousand units so now that we know our units we then want to model 348 before you do your modeling you first of all write your number in expanded form as you have seen over here now as you write your number in expanded form you make sure all these that you have written can then be rewritten in terms of cubes rods flats and if possible block but in this case we don't have a block here so a 300 simply means three times a hundred you see and we do know what a hundred means per our structure here we said a hundred represents a flat so instead of writing a hundred we have substituted we have substituted that with what a flat means we have three flats so that is what you see over here 10 that is 40 giving us 4 times 10 represents a rod so there are four rods or better still you can use the long it's the same thing and then eight that is eight units gives us what a cube because we know one is a cube so eight cubes now after all of this you then come and then do your representation so we have said that we need three flats so this is one two three we've gotten three flats then four longs one two three four and then eight cubes so one two three four five six seven and eight you have your representation there i'll leave an exercise for you to try just to test your understanding and if there's any issue of concern you can always let me know at the comment section to try these exercises you should have your pencil your pen and then a sheet plus a ruler where you'd be able to draw your multi-block systems so here you have them it says represent these numbers using these 10 blocks for the first one you have to represent 374 the second one you have to represent thousand then the c represents 689 d represents 2419 and then finally 730 i do hope this lesson was helpful if there's any issue of concern you can always let me know at the comment section and i will address that see you in our next lesson Stay blessed. Bye for now.